Hi, my name is Kendall. Um, for those of y'all that got invited here by a friend and we've never met, hello. Um, I am passionate about um, people reading the Bible in its entirety, cover to cover, um, all of the books in one setting to really get a view of the story of God. Whether you're a believer or not, I think even if you aren't a believer, at least to know what you're saying no to or to be able to really um, discuss it um, with any sort of integrity, I believe you need to have read it. And so, and as a believer, of course, if we're going to commit our lives to this, uh, I would hope that we would know what it says. But I, for years, um, as a Christian, like, I didn't read it in its entirety until four years ago. Up until then, I kept starting all these, read the Bible in a year plan, and kept stopping by March, um, and then I'd forget about it and stop and give up, and then I'd start again in January and make it to March. So I was reading like the first couple books, um, but was never getting any further and was just getting frustrated. Um, so I heard about the Bible in 90 days and thought, this is great. I can do anything for 90 days and committed to doing it my first year. And I did it by myself, um, and it was so great, such an awesome experience for me personally that I wanted, I figured the next year, I was like, I think I'll do it again this summer. But this time, I'll invite other people in. And so I created a Facebook group and invited people in. And then the third year, we got more people. And then this will be our fourth year um, to read through it. And we'll be reading through it chronologically. So not cover to cover, but in the order of which it was written. And there's some debate about roughly when things were uh, written. And um, But for the most part, it's um, historically chronologically by time of when these events happened. So it's really cool because we'll be reading the Psalms in the middle of David's life so you can see okay that's why he's writing this psalm just makes those come to life in a real way um and the gospels will be reading them sort of all chopped up so you can see all these different perspectives of the same story so it's just a really awesome way to read the word of god um and 90 days it sounds daunting it's 45 minutes a day and i feel like we all have 45 minutes a day whether you're using that to watch a show or to go outside and take your walk or whatever, you can even some people listen to it. I highly recommend you, even if you're listening to it, you're looking at it. But everybody has 45 minutes. And so I wake up first thing in the morning and get it done. Um, and it's incredible how much it affects you when you see it unfold um, minute by minute and like the whole story unfold uh, before your eyes. So before... Um, uh, I just wanted we get started in June starts June 1st and goes through the end of August I wanted to just give you a few little resources um, I will post the document in the files folder that lays out what you're supposed to read every day It's the 90-day chronological study. So just print that off stick it in your Bible So every morning you can cross off where you are a couple other things that I like to say every year um, is I got a journal Bible a journal Bible just means um, that on the inside there are more margins where you can write some notes. So one thing about this study is that it's not a study in the sense that we're going to be diving in. We don't have time for that. You're reading too much. So um, we're just getting a very overview, just like you were reading a novel. So I highly recommend getting um, uh, a Bible like this, only because I just jot down notes as I go, and then I can go back later when I have time or after the study um, and kind of look deeper into those things that caught my attention. Um, one of the things that I do too is I write, um, I choose a different, because I do it every year, so I choose a different color pencil for every year. So you'll notice like on this page I've got different writing and different colors. Um, that just shows like every year, because I feel like, I mean, again, I've, this will be my fourth year to do it, but God shows me something different every time. Every time I read it, God's Word is alive and I'm learning something new. And so I want to see kind of what God's taught me differently or what am I seeing this year that I didn't see last year. So I just kind of make a little key or legend at the beginning at the, on my front of my Bible with what color is what year, and it's just cool. Um, so I highly recommend just you doing something to just kind of take some notes as you're going. Um, the only other thing that I would recommend um, is this is called the Essential Bible Companion. You can get it on Amazon, but it just gives you a one-page – mine got wet, so <laughs> it's all a mess – but a one-page thing of like the book of Titus. Um, each book of the Bible just has a one page, like has some maps, some pictures, and an overview. Because in a lot of ways, we're going to be flying through so much that if you just want like a one page overview of that book we just read, it's great for that. Um, it's a great companion. You don't have to have this, just an additional resource for you. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, I mean, the only other thing is just to use this Facebook group however you want to. Some people, I, um, we would just would post like a picture of where they were reading that day they're reading outside in a beautiful view or whatever, they would post that picture just to like bring themselves accountability. If I check in every day and send a picture, then I'll be accountable. 
Um, I'll post the verse every day online, um, and then we just comment on that verse. So um, comment with what you, with what stood out to you or a question that you have um, or, or just thoughts. Anything that you want. Use the tool how you want. We really just want it to be an encouragement to you um, and keep you accountable to do it. So bring some friends along. Invite whoever you want to to the group. And even if you fall behind, jump back in. And we'll talk about that a lot as we go. Um, but you can always just keep going. Um, the biggest thing is not that you finish in 90 days, which would be awesome, um, and join us along that on that journey, but that you just are in God's word. Anytime that you're in God's word, he's going to do something and he's going to move. He promises to. It does not return void. So I am excited for you to join us on this year's journey and I will see you June 1st.